Casino Resort in the heart of Las Vegas. It's Hooters' 20th Annual International Swimsuit Pageant. Tonight, 80 of the most beautiful women on the planet serve up a lot more than delicious wings as they compete for the title of Miss Hooters International. Ladies and gentlemen, your Hooters' 20th Annual International Swimsuit Pageant contestants. Now, please welcome your host. You know him from the classic comedy film Coming to America, and as a winner of NBC's Celebrity Apprentice. He currently hosts ABC's music series Greatest Hits, and of course, most of us know him from TV's groundbreaking late night gab fest, The Arsenio Hall Show, which makes sense because, ladies and gentlemen, he is Arsenio! ready to have a good time. Do you see the lady you're supporting here somewhere? Yes. Ladies, you look absolutely amazing. How about it for these ladies? But for them, let me hear you for the ladies. Yeah. Yes, amazing. You know what, that red dress back there looked like the dress I wore in Coming to America. That looked like, right? Look a little bit like that. I'm gonna tear you apart. 
and your friend too. Y'all remember that? Yeah. Thank you all very much. You can take off now and I'll talk to these people. Go backstage and get ready. Yes. Yes. You see your favorite? Wow. Some of those ladies, there are very young ladies there who were probably in diapers. Ladies who were in diapers when this pageant started years ago. And tonight in the swimsuit part of the show, some of them gonna have on less clothes than they had on when they had on that diaper. <laughs> My name is Arsenio, very unique name for a black man. Thank you very much. In Greek, it means Leroy. Yes. Yes. What's your name, sir, in the shirt, the collared shirt? What's your name? Cam. Cameron. Cameron. Nice, cool name. I like that. I always wanted a simple name. Arsenio. You don't want to be Arsenio in the ghetto. Cameron would have been much cooler. <laughs> First of all, Arsenio, when you're little and you realize that your name is one letter away from poison, <laughs> drop the O, add a C, and it's arsenic. <laughs> That's horrible, Cameron. That's like Cameron. That's like if your mama named you Ebolo. <laughs> it's one letter away from poison. How are you, sir? I'm from Hamburg, Germany. You are from Germany to see this pageant? My man came from Germany. I came from LA. That's not as <laughs> not as adventurous. L.A., lots of alternatives. I love living in L.A. Anything you want is in L.A. If you don't like the beach, you can drive to the snow. If you don't like Magic Mountain, you can drive to Disneyland. If you don't like basketball, we have the Lakers now. It's, it's horrible what's going on. It's really horrible. Hey, by the way, they mentioned this when I came out. I have a new show. I want you all to watch it. I hope you've been watching it. It's six summer specials on ABC, and it's called Greatest Hits. You all got to check it out tomorrow night. Check it out tomorrow night on ABC. It's a great show. It's a great show. And y'all want me to be on TV instead of like robbing people in Vegas or something like that, you know? Because I'll be in jail as a roommate to OJ if I do that. Yes, indeed. Y'all keep a brother here when he mess up. He killed somebody in LA, but he stole something here and y'all put his ass in jail. Y'all do not play. What messes up in Vegas stays their ass up here in Vegas. <laughs> we have a lot to do here tonight. And to help me make sure I get it all done right, I want to introduce a woman who knows a little something, something about the hard work and dedication it takes to get right here on this stage. She was Miss Hooters International 2006. Yes. This marks her 10th year anniversary sporting the crown. She's now a television host. I've seen her on, on that sports show, Best Damn Sports show. I've seen her on E. I've seen her on Fox. You will recognize her face if you don't know who I'm talking about already. Ladies and gentlemen, the beautiful and talented Michelle Noon. Oh. Hey, Mish. Oh, look at you, girl. Oh, I got to help you down that last step. Michelle Noon. Thank you, Arsenio. Wow. What an introduction. You look amazing. Thank you. I clean up nice. So do you. Mm, they won't even see me. They're going to be looking at you, and I'm not going to even be. This is how every shot's going to be standing. <laughs> they not going to even see my ass. Arsenio who? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> hey, woof, 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 who? Anyway. I'm actually thrilled to be here, and I am admittedly slightly more relaxed than I was when I was competing 10 years ago. I know there's a lot of butterflies backstage as these lovely ladies prepare to compete for that $30,000 cash prize. 30, for first place. Yes, $30,000. That's, that's more than me and you are getting. <laughs> I should have put on a bikini. Next year. Okay, okay. As well as all the countless perks and benefits that come with taking home the title, not to mention the honor of representing their hometown Hooters. But in addition to all of that, mm -hmm. 
Our runners-up will also receive cash prizes, oh. as will the young women chosen to be Miss Photogenic, Miss Congeniality, Miss Fan Favorite, and Miss World. Right on, that sounds great. Uh-oh, there's some love, love up there. You. Hey, and, and while the girls are backstage putting the finishing touches on everything, as well as their swimsuits, let's take a moment to meet folks <laughs> who will be deciding their fate. These are our judges. First up, a man who fought his way here, kind of. Uh, he's a former UFC champion, a member of the Ultimate Fighting Championship Hall of Fame. That makes him extra special. And he's a twice New York Times best-selling list place placement person. He's been on there twice, y'all. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Returning to the panel here, Forrest Griffin, writer, and he'll kick your butt. Yes. Who you got for us? Next, the original Hooters girl herself, and I mean that quite literally. For 15 years, she was the face of the Hooters brand from Clearwater, Florida. Put your hands together for actress, model, and TV radio host, Lynn Austin. Yeah, Lynn. Yes. You can hear from our next judge every morning, uh, talking relationships, pop culture, and sports by tuning into Sirius XM's Cavino and Rich Show. He's been seen on SYN, VH1, and always covering fun events like the Grammys, uh, the VMAs, and the Super Bowl. Give it up for half of that team that you hear on the radio, Rich Davis, ladies and gentlemen. Rich, what's up, dog? Yes. Next up, a man who makes his living on the water, more specifically and quite impressively, on a wakeboard. Mm -hmm. Put your hands together for national wakeboarding champion and Red Bull athlete, Steele Lafferty. Mm -hmm. Getting back to the ladies now. She's another extremely accomplished woman who has also donned Hooters orange shorts. Uh, since then, she's worked for the Los Angeles Lakers as the first and only female NBA scout ever. That's a huge accomplishment. She's also the first woman to be awarded six professional championship rings. One as a cheerleader for the 49ers and five in the front office. Put your hands together for Bonnie Jill Laughlin. Bonnie, Bonnie Jill Laughlin. Three names, she's so bad. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, he's a United States veteran who has represented the Navy both in the field as well as in the Warrior Games, where he took home two bronze medals. He also participated in the Invictus Games, helping the United States win a gold medal in wheelchair basketball. Ladies and gentlemen, Adam Hajima. Adam! Adam. Yeah, y'all know what to do. Does everybody know what to do? Get on your feet and give Adam some love. And when you're giving Adam love, you're giving everyone who served us, like Adam, love. My brother. Thank y'all for doing the right thing. Yes. Now that you've met our esteemed and accomplished panel of judges, it's time to put them to work while you enjoy the show. Out of almost 20,000 Hooters entertainers around the world, tonight we've narrowed the field down to 80 of the finest. 81 of the finest. I like how you, I like how you think. <laughs> yes, 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 I do mean finest. And you don't want to go anywhere because when we come back, you're going to meet the first group of contestants as they kick off our swimsuit round. Hooters 20th Annual International Swimsuit Pageant will be right back. Coming up tonight on Hooters 20th Annual International Swimsuit Pageant, 80 of the most beautiful Hooters girls from around the world will suit up for a walk down the runway in our swimsuit competition. We'll meet Hooters girls from around the world, award the titles of Miss Photogenic and Miss Congeniality. And before the night is through, last year's winner Megan Pasterchik will help us crown this year's winner. It's all coming up on Hooters 20th Annual International Swimsuit Pageant. Welcome back to Hooters 20th Annual International Swimsuit Pageant, where <laughs> we're introducing you to the most beautiful women 
from Hooters on the planet. Now, to that end, the title of the show has the word swimsuit in it. And I know you're not looking for me to put on a swimsuit at any point in my life. But the young women are about to rock this house and come out from all over the world, from Germany, sir. From all over the world. From Indiana in the house. Yes. And by the way, we have so many unbelievable Hooters girls competing that we're gonna have to divide it up into two groups, y'all. I don't wanna make you wait any longer. Let the swimsuit competition begin, Costa Rica. <laughs> Representing the land of enchantment, Albuquerque, New Mexico, I am Stephanie Gonzalez. Representing Augusta, Georgia, I am Amanda Starr. Good day, I'm Lauren K. Smith from the Land Down Under, Sydney, Australia. My name is Nira Wongwai, representing Bangkok! Proudly representing the heart of Dixie from Birmingham, Alabama, I am Carrie Ann Burkett. Very honored to be representing Chantilly, Virginia. I am Kirsten Cooper. Representing the Queen City, Charlotte, North Carolina. <laughs> Proudly representing Chattanooga, Tennessee, I am Shay Pope. from Chicago, Illinois. 
proudly representing the original Hooters from Clearwater, Florida, I'm Ashley Scott. I am Carolina Castillo from Cuapa, Mexico. I am Rachel Swartz from Columbus, Georgia. Concord, North Carolina. Proudly representing Concord, Pennsylvania, I am Rachel Slobudgeon. California, I am Brenda Rhoda. Soy Melissa Cerdas de Heredia, Costa Rica, pura vida. Representing every sweet cornfield in Davenport, Iowa, I am Amanda Valenzuela. representing Dayton, Ohio. From Denton, Texas, I am Quinn Hunt. From 
your Derby City, Louisville, Kentucky, I am Shelby Scott. and proudly representing Nottingham, England, I'm Heather Stinson. I am Amanda Steinbecker, representing Fairview Heights, Illinois. Proudly representing the Great Lakes from Flint, Michigan, I am Isabella Cheslam. Presento a Guatemala. From the Walk of Fame in Hollywood, California, my name is Chelsea Morganson. Representing the town that brought us Fritos, Dr. Pepper, and ZZ Top, I am Hannah Williams of Irving, Texas. Jack 
Jacksonville, Florida, I am Jacqueline Mancino. Kansas City, Kansas, I am Margaret Pilcher. Kentucky, I am Sydney Pickman. Gavin Leger. Proudly representing the beautiful Las Vegas, I am Kelsey Smith. Correspondent. She's a former Miss Hooters International herself, having taken home the title in 2008. Since then, she's traveled extensively as a model and TV host. And despite her success with Hooters, I assure you that her last name is just coincidental. Put your hands together for Sarah Hoots. Thanks, Michelle. And yeah, you're right. If there was ever someone to be destined as a Hooters girl, I mean, my last name kind of did put me in that right direction. I'm backstage where even though the stakes are high as these girls compete for a $30,000 grand prize, it's remarkably fun and really laid back, much like the Hooters restaurants. There's a genuine spirit of camaraderie behind the girls as they help each other get ready for this, the next stage of the competition. By the way, that camaraderie will come into play later tonight when we choose Miss Congeniality, who's gonna take home an extra $5,000. And I'm gonna be keeping an eye on backstage things tonight. So I'll bring you updates throughout the evening. Back to you, Michelle. Thanks, Sarah. Looking forward to checking in again with you a little later. Because we are covering all the action on stage and behind the scenes. And we've got a lot more to come, like round two of our swimsuit competition on the Hooters 20th Annual International Swimsuit Pageant. It's really cool to come every year, and the first year it's cool because you get to meet so many people that you've never met, and now it's like a reunion for me. I get to see so many girls that I know in every state, and we keep in touch all year, so it's really cool to finally come and get to see them. Winning with Hooters International is just an honor. I mean, you get to be the voice for all of these girls that are all like amazing people, amazing. I mean, they're not only beautiful, they're just sweet, kind, generous, they're everything, they're the whole package. I am Taylor Reyes and I'm representing Long Beach, California. Welcome back to Hooters 20th Annual International Swimsuit Pageant. I'm Michelle Nunes and it's time for you to meet our second group of contestants in tonight's swimsuit competition. Ladies, the stage is yours. Colorado, I am Rachel. 
Rachel Pruitt. Long Beach, California, I am Taylor Reyes. My name is Courtney Blakely, and I'm from the hometown of the world's greatest, Louisville, Kentucky. I'm Stephanie Smelt from Loveland, Colorado. Representing Madison, Wisconsin, I am Chloe Casper. Proudly representing Merritt Island, Florida, I am Jessica Martin. I'm Sabrina Morales. I'm proudly representing Universidad México. City of Miami, Florida, I am Amberly Hall. Connecticut, I am Jesse Jeremiah. Tennessee, I am Tyann Nelson.
York City. I am Ati Berry. Representing North Arlington, Texas, I am Brianna Ramos. Representing Northern Virginia, I am Alicia Smith. Representing Hooters of Oklahoma City, I am Haley Sermon. Representing the beautiful Orange County, California, I am Paige Frolic. Pasadena, Texas, I am Brittany Harris. I'm Jessica Jano representing the biggest leaders in Asia, Bataya! Capital in Potomac Mills, Virginia, I am Shelby Yarbrough.
San Antonio, Texas, I'm Monet Contreras. Proudly representing San Francisco, California, I am Haley Houts. Representing San Pedro, Texas, I am Chelsea Kennan. Representing Sanford, Florida, I am Michaela Holloman. Ashley Isaac. Probably representing Shanghai, China. I am Yuna Wong. Massachusetts, I am Nicole Fatacanti. Proudly representing South Africa, I am Jade Hammond. Representing Southwest Florida, I am Sophia Beverly. to represent Tacoma, Washington, I am Olivia Bachman. <laughs> Representing Tampa, Florida, I'm Victoria Rahosa. California, I am Jordan Chessmore. Representing Tokyo, I am Aki Okayama.
Manning, Tulsa, Oklahoma. I am Candy Hall. Canada, my name is Megan Peel. come back, our judges will have the unenviable task of choosing our top 10 finalists out of all those beautiful women that you just saw. Yeah, things just got real, real, y'all. <laughs> See if your favorites made it right after this. Welcome back to Hooters 20th Annual International Swimsuit Pageant. The only international beauty pageant that comes with wings. <laughs> For the women in this competition, this pageant is about a lot more than just the time that they spend on this stage. They came out to Las Vegas last week for photo shoots, prep time, and of course, a little fun. You're talking about the activities we enjoyed, like wing eating contests. Yes. Who yes. won that? Who won it? Was it Joey Chestnut? They made, made Is he stand in here? Up Where's Joey? Yes, it's Joey Chestnut. <laughs> <laughs> that man can eat. And the pre-show pageant we held last night in which these young ladies donned outfits they made themselves to represent their hometown Hooters. Very creative outfits. These ladies came to play. Indeed they have. As you can see, these young women possess a lot of personality, which is what makes them such great Hooters girls. Yes. They're beautiful, they're smart, they know how to have fun. Now, 
we get to a very important part in the program. Naming our top 10 finalists. Yes, and each of our top 10 finalists receive a prize of $2,000. And more importantly, one of them is gonna receive tonight's grand prize. $30,000 and the Miss Hooters International title. She'll be like you. Yes, 2016. <laughs> Throughout the week here in Las Vegas, each one of our contestants has been scored in the preliminary rounds in categories of confidence, presence, and physical fitness. Those scores have been combined with our judges' scores tonight to get the 10 young women who are about to advance to the final round. But before we find out who those young ladies are, I wanna check in with our judges once again. Let's start with the original Hooters girl, Lynn Austin. Now you've sat in that chair for a few of these. Yes. How does this competition compare to the ones you've seen in previous years? This is my first time. Dude, this is sorcery. Mm. They're getting younger. <laughs> they're getting hotter. They're getting smarter. They're getting fitter. It's sorcery. Thank you, Lynn. <laughs> Steel. Yeah. Steel, you're on the other side of this spectrum. This is your first time. Yeah. But you're, you pretty much live in the water, so I assume you are seeing girls in swimsuits much of the time. What are your impressions so far? Yeah, well, first thing I just want all the ladies to know is that I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not real. That. Like single, so. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I, I see girls in bikinis all the time, but this is so different because all of them are so stunning. Okay, it's time to announce our top 10 finalists. <laughs> Let's do this. Please keep in mind that Arsenio and I are seeing these results for the very first time, which makes it exciting for us. Yes. And we are announcing them in no particular order, ladies. Our first top 10 I, finalist is... I gave it to you because I'm scared. I'm nervous. You've been through this before. Are you nervous? I'm nervous. Okay. Number 32, Chelsea Morganson. <laughs> Our next finalist, I'll look over your shoulder. Number 74, Victoria Racosa! <laughs> Two down, eight to go. I'm just gonna stand and let you do it. <laughs> Number 13, Rachel <laughs> Swartz! <laughs> Congratulations to our first three finalists. The tension is still high for the rest of you, but no longer. <laughs> Four, give me another one. Number 49, Amber Hall, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Oh, she might be my sister. She could be a relative. <laughs> Getting us halfway to the point of our top 10, it's Number 53, Asatu <laughs> Berry! Oh! Okay, we're halfway there. And let me tell you, I've done that before, I've judged before, it ain't easy. You've done this before, that's not it is easy. It's not easy. Anyone who's made it this far in the competition is worthy of joining these five ladies. For example, give me another one. Number 34, Hannah Williams! Oh! Next, the journey will continue for, give it to me, Miss Noons. Number 37, Caitlin Evans. We got a Caitlin in there. There are only three spots left. Oh, and I'm getting one of nervous. Them, yeah, yeah, see, see, one of them is about to be filled. Fill it, Miss Noons. Number 78, Cammy Hall! Okay. The ninth of our ten finalists is... Number 11, Ashton Scott. Oh, they're going crazy over there, Ashley. And our top... Our, our last top ten finalists guaranteed a prize of at least $2,000 and potentially as much as $30,000 thousand dollars miss noons 
will hit us with another one. Your final contestant in the top 10 is number 28, Sable Jane Roberts! Oh. Where's Sable? There she is, Fort Lauderdale Sable. That's a good Sable. Ladies and gentlemen, these are your top 10 finalists for Hewner's 20th Annual International Swimsuit Pageant. Show them some love while I practice saying the word Hooters. Ladies, take your walk. These girls still have a little ways to go to see who will be crowned Miss Hooters International. And we've got a lot more show left. So don't go anywhere because we're coming right back. Stay where you are. My name is Ashton Scott and I'm from Clearwater, Florida. I've been going to Hooters probably since I was like nine years old. I grew up at my local Hooters in South Tampa. And growing up, I just loved the Hooters girls. It was just such an image to look up to. These girls were like my role model. I'm Ossie Berry from New York City, New York. Originally, I was born in Guinea, West Africa. I was raised in Memphis, Tennessee. And I've been living in New York for about five years now. So I do kind of consider myself a bit of a New Yorker and a Southern Belle as well. I'm Chelsea Morganson, and I am representing Hollywood, California. I'm an actress and a model. I've been really at it for about a year and a half now, so hopefully that'll continue to progress and get better. My name is Sable Jade Robert, and I'm representing Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I started working at Hooters about five and a half years ago. My father had just passed away, and it was kind of a point in my life where I realized not only did I, I need to become independent, but I wanted a positive distraction from the negative event in my life. Hooters has become my family, they've become my support, and they've made me a strong, independent, and happy woman that I am today. I'm Rachel Swartz, and I'm from Columbus, Georgia. I'm married to an Air Force captain. We met nine years ago in college. We have gone all across the country with Air Force. It's been a really great experience. I'm Victoria Rojosa, and I'm from North Tampa, Florida. Hooters has definitely helped me grow in a positive way, made me into the person I am today by bringing me out of my shell and making me more confident and more ambitious and just showing me that, you know, anything's possible. My name is Hannah Williams and I'm from Irving, Texas. The day that I finished my master's, I turned in my final paper. I was bartending that night and I came in and my boss, he's at this little party. Girls were like, congratulations, you finished. It was unreal. I mean, the family is really the best way to describe it. I'm Caitlin Afell and I'm from the Hooters of Kennesaw, Georgia. I really love to travel. Um, I like to say that I'm on a Hooters World Tour. I go to a lot of different countries and I always try to stop in at the Hooters there and eat lunch. I'm Cami Hall and I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. After I left OSU, I had my little girl. About six weeks old, she started getting really, really sick and needing a bunch of surgeries. I couldn't keep a job. I went and applied to Hooters. And anytime my daughter is sick, they want to come and help or they are like, Mr. Shifter, fine. I'm very blessed to call them my family. My name is Amberly Hall, and I am representing beautiful Miami, Florida. My family were regulars at Hooters. We loved going. I have vivid, incredible childhood memories of my little brother getting embarrassed because the pretty Hooters girl would come over and want to take a picture with him, and he would hide under the table. To know that Hooters has really shaped me into who I am, There's, I'm just so thankful. To win Miss Hooters International would just be amazing to me. It's an incredible company and they've really changed my life and given me so much. It is a completely surreal experience. And I can't even begin to express the amount of pride and just gratefulness that I feel towards the Hooters and my store and you know, everybody responsible for 
bringing me here today. If I were to win Miss Hooters International, it would be a dream come true. And Miss Hooters International plays a big role in our community. I would love to have that job title just so I can have a platform to kind of voice my opinion about issues that I'm passionate about. You are Miss Hooters International. Everyone wants to be you. And you get to shine light on something that you care about. You get to shine light on a charity or, and you just get to come bring that back to your hometown. And you literally for a year are the biggest person in Hooters. And to me, that is amazing. They've had the most beautiful girls to represent this company, both inside and out. If that's me, I am more than excited to be able to represent the company. But I know any of these girls that place top 10 are going to do the job and they're gonna do the job well. Welcome back to Hooters 20th Annual International Swimsuit Pageant. I am still Arsenio Hall. And I'm Michelle Noons. Yes. While Hooters started here in America, Clearwater, Florida to be exact. <laughs> hey guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was too good to keep to ourselves. And Hooters now has restaurants in a total of 42 states and 26 countries spanning the globe. Yeah. But all of those restaurants have a few things in common, like great food served by fun and beautiful Hooters girls, which I know you experienced for yes. the first time last night. You went to Hooters, ladies and gentlemen. So as part of tonight's competition, we wanted to take a few minutes to recognize the 14 young ladies who've traveled quite a distance to be here tonight. I'd like to think of them as the Hooters 14 wonders of the world. Will that work? Oh, that's clever. Okay. They'll join us in just a minute to see who will be crowned Miss World and receive a check for $5,000, Miss Noons. Woo! But before they come out here, let's learn a little bit more about them with our backstage correspondent, Sarah Hoots. Thanks, Arsenio. I am joined by Hooters Miss World 2015, Lydia Hipkiss from Nottingham, England. Now tell us, Lydia, how has this year been for you? It's been absolutely incredible. I've had such a fantastic time with the company. I've got to do so many amazing things. I can't even, I can't even recall them all. And I'm just so looking forward to getting to announce a new Miss World this year. And I'm just so happy for whoever is going to be because they are really going to have a fantastic time. Oh, I hear you getting emotional in your voice. Thank you so much. And I, I mean, congratulations on a, such an amazing, incredible year. And now let's get a closer look at the 14 young women vying for the 2016 title of Hooters Miss World. Hi, everyone. I'm Yeda Wang. I'm from Shanghai, China. I am Mina Kitin. I live in from Phuket, Thailand. Jade Hammond, and I'm from Hooters, South Africa. Hooters, Kinza, Japan. Hola, mi nombre es Melissa, y soy de Costa Rica. My name is Lauren K. Smith, and I'm representing Australia. I'm Sabrina Morales, I'm from Mexico. Carolina, y uh, I'm from Mexico. Uh, my name is Jillian Gonzalez, and I'm representing Toronto, Canada. So my name is Nira Wongwai, and I represent for Hooters, Bangkok, Thailand. My name is Carla Merida and I'm representing Guatemala. I am Jessica Jano and I'm representing the Thai My name is Megan Pugh and I'm representing Winnipeg, Canada. I'm Heather Stimson from England. It was unexpected um, to be here, but it's amazing. It's my first time out of South Africa and to come to Vegas to participate in this and represent my hometown is just amazing. The emotions I have for now, it's crazy emotions like I can't even explain it I don't really think that I'm going to be in a pageant like this and Hooters made it happen. To win Miss World it would mean a lot to me I think it also mean a lot to Winnipeg too I don't think a Canadian has won for several years so to be able to bring that home for Canada would be just like so cool. I definitely look at the pageant as an opportunity uh, opportunity to make new friends uh, experience new things. It's not something that I've done before, so I'm definitely looking forward to the experience. I cannot imagine. It's like a, I'm dreaming, you know? I never think about I will be here. Now I'm here. So exciting and know what. I see this as an opportunity for all the girls. Um, I mean, a lot of us haven't been out here before, and it's just something nice to do. We're all like a big family, and it's all just really fun for us to get on. I'm so excited for everybody else and I'm so excited that the person is going to get to experience what I have and really like have fun with the company and just really make the most of it. 
my advice would be really enjoy your time. It goes so quick. <laughs> you don't realize the year is over before it already has been. Enjoy yourself. This is your time. Really make the most of it. Now it's time to meet them in person. One of these young women will receive the title of Miss World along with a $5,000 prize. Ladies and gents, your 14 world contestants. From Sydney, Australia, Lauren K. Smith. From Bangkok, Thailand, Neera Wong Wai. From Coapa, Mexico, Carolina Castillo. From Herida, Costa Rica, Melissa Cerdes Jimenez. From Nottingham, England, Heather Stimson. From Guatemala City, Guatemala, Carla Marida. From Universidad, Mexico, Sabrina Morales. From Pattaya, Thailand, Jessica Jano. Phuket, Thailand. I didn't even know there was a Phuket, Thailand. Mina Kitten. Put your hands together for Yeda Wong from Shanghai, China. From Port Elizabeth, South Africa, Jade Hammond. From Tokyo, Japan, Aki Okayama. Arigato, Michelle. Arigato, Arsenio. From Toronto, Canada, Sirlin Gonzalez. And finally, from Winnipeg, Canada, Megan Pugh. I'm told our judges have made their decision, so now let's welcome back the current title holder of Miss World from Nottingham, England, Lydia Hipkiss. Lydia. Here she comes. Lydia, oh. Look at that beauty. Look at that crown. Hey, Lydia. Parquet. Okay, Lydia, I know this is an emotional moment for you giving up your crown, but please go ahead and take that, <laughs> that final walk as Miss World. Do it, girl. You have the honors. Are you ready to unveil the successor to your title? In all honesty, it's so hard to give this up, but yes, I'm ready. It was a great last walk. Oh, thank Especially you Especially so when much. you broke it down, when thank you caught you. it right here, oh, pow, like and broke it down, that was nice. That was nice. <laughs> okay, and the winner of Hooters Miss World 2016 is... Da -da -da -da. You even do your own trumpet. <laughs> <laughs> Megan Pugh from Winnipeg. <laughs> Congratulations again. As your first official duty, please take your debut walk and accept the accolades of being named Hooters Miss World 2016. Megan soaks up this moment. We'll take a little break, but stay with us because we got a lot more to do. They should stick around, shouldn't they? They should stick around. We'll see you back. Welcome back to the Hooters 20th Annual International Swimsuit Pageant. 
and I could be one of the luckiest men in the world. I say one of because I know you married a former Miss Hooters girl, so I'm probably the second luckiest in this room. Uh, I'm lucky to be here, and I'm lucky to be with a former winner, Miss Noons. Aw, Arsenio, thank you. I feel the same way. Michelle Noons, everybody, one more time. Arsenio Hall, oh. ladies and gentlemen. Got it. <laughs> We're also lucky to have such wonderful judges with us tonight. And speaking of them, as we mentioned earlier, two of them are former Hooters girls. And I'm pretty sure you guys can guess which two. Let's take a few minutes to get to know them a little bit better. To be the original girl is, is really kind of an, an awe place to be in. Um, I've been here since before we even opened our doors in October of 83. So just to watch how we came from those beginnings to how the franchisees and corporate has taken it and just blown it and bloomed it, I can't even, I can't even put it into words is how awe-inspiring it has been. When I first became a Hooters girl, nobody even knew what that was. You know, that was just new on the block, Clearwater, Florida. We were the girls that were picked right off the beach. Just come in and make fun. Have people have a good time. I started cheering in the NBA when I was still in high school. So I was uh, 17 years old in high school, cheering for the Golden State Warriors, and then went on to cheer for the 49ers for two years, got a Super Bowl ring with them, and then went on to the Dallas Cowboys while I was going to University of Texas. So I became a Hooters girl when I was actually in Dallas, Texas. And so after I was done cheering for the Cowboys, I was you know, kind of in between what I was gonna do when I was gonna move to Los Angeles, you know, trying to figure it out. And then I was like, you know what, let's go and try you know, working at Hooters. And I heard great things about the company. So I went and uh, started working there. And then before you knew it, I was um, in the calendar. 97 was the first Hooters pageant. And I was in that. I was a runner up representing Dallas, Texas. And I was you know, just chosen because we did the preliminaries and I was in the calendar and so kind of different from how it is now it's very small and Hawaii it was nice and uh, kind of quaint now it's huge so it's kind of shown how it's grown but it was pretty neat to say that you were part of the first one. Hooters is looking for the, the full package in a girl they're looking for obviously a pleasant personality and they're looking for beauty and they're looking for poise and grace and fun and wit and edge and I think that any girl that wants to come into Hooters and go for it, just say yes. As a judge, I look for someone who kind of has all of it, you know, from the beauty, brains, um, class, can speak well because they're gonna be a spokesperson for Hooters. So you wanna be able to have someone that can speak well, be professional. I think the biggest advice is just to believe in who you are and you know, not to keep reiterating the same thing, but work ethic is so important. And to really, really, to go after your dreams, you gotta make sure that you do the work. To be a Hooters girl, I think, is so much of an honor. To be able to wear the iconic uniform, the orange shorts and the white tank is just something that you know you really should embrace. It grows you and makes you mature, and uh, I think it really helps to be able to say that you had that in your resume, to have that in your career, that you did that. I think the girls are seeing that our pageant is a great opportunity. The calendar, the pageant, the traveling, all of it, and they're just, I think it's actually drawing girls into us. It's also drawing attention to us in a very good way. Hooters has been the, the, the single most game changer in my life. Absolutely, bar none. Thanks Bonnie Jill and Lynn for taking the time to offer us a little more insight into your fascinating and successful careers. Ladies, you both are an inspiration not only to the ladies in this competition, but to women around the world who want to wear orange shorts at some point. Yes, thank you to you both. You're both outstanding role models, much like the recipient of the next prize that we are about to award. You're absolutely right, Michelle. And that award is Miss Congeniality, which comes with a $5,000 prize and I believe a license to fight crime from now on. Mm, maybe if you like, lived in the 90s and saw that movie. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. But it is one of my favorites, one that I truly, I would have loved to win this when I competed in the pageant. You didn't win this? No! I think you're so congenial. Thank you. Thank you, it's just as good. It's almost as good. <laughs> almost, you see, throw that. Of course, I mean, you were at a Hooters last night, so you know that if you have ever been to a Hooters, 
The staff is always polite and friendly, which only makes the decision that much more difficult. And on that note, let's get into it. The title of Miss Congeniality 2016 goes to... Rachel Swartz of Columbus, Georgia. Oh, go Rachel! One of our top ten, ladies and gentlemen. Step out there, Rachel. Congratulations, Rachel, on being named Miss Congeniality. Obviously a very impressive young lady. Rachel, is there anyone who helped you to become the person that you are or someone you'd like to recognize or talk about? I'm the oldest of eight siblings and um, they are all so special and unique and they teach us all to believe in each other and love each other unconditionally. I like to thank them. Congratulations, well done. Oh, that is cute. And well done. She spoke from the heart. I like that. That's a real it. moment. That's a Hooters girl. Our next special award, Miss Photogenic, is one that comes with a nice $2,000 cash prize, but that's not all. It also comes with a trip to Todd Farron's photography theme park studio, valued at more than $5,000. There, this year's winner will be photographed for their own portfolio package. And this award is chosen every year by our tireless team of photographers. Wait, I think I might have found someone who has a better job than mine. A photographer for this? <laughs> Lord have mercy. Uh, in, in any case, as you can imagine, this was a very difficult decision. How difficult? Watch and learn. like a dream come true growing up you know you see these girls on the posters that you aspire to be and now to think I'm here at a photo shoot I have the chance of being in an international calendar magazine just gives you a, such motivation to keep working hard at Hooters because all the hard work definitely pays off Working with all the photographers are amazing. They make you feel comfortable, they're all sweet, and they're all genuine, and they just make you feel like, like you're doing the best you can, and they make it so easy. I think being Miss Photogenic means that you are getting along really well with the photographer. You and the photographer have made this connection together. If you're able to kind of direct the way that you want to look, and you know what your angles are best, and the way you look best, I think that that really helps you if you want to get that Miss Photogenic Award. Well, you know, the, the calendar came along just a couple years after Hooters was started in 1983. For all 30 years, it has been kind of the, uh, the embodiment of what Hooters is all about. You open that calendar and you can see beautiful girls, and you know it's all still that classic, iconic, girl next door, Hooters girl. The uh, Hooter calendar photographers, we're all basically a team. It's the same group, the same four or five of us every year that work with them. It's a good group of photographers, some of the best in the world. Yeah, Miss Photogenic, we all, the photographers get together and we just talked about the girl who had the most confidence and um, that was really just the best personality in front of the camera and just had a lot of fun and uh, we'd like to shoot again. And being so young and getting to do the calendar is probably the biggest accomplishment I've ever done. Now, Michelle, I'm really impressed by all the work that these girls put in. And you've been there. You've, you've been in the trenches, girl. You, you've been in the pools. How tough <laughs> was this decision? I mean, look at these women. All of them are deserving of this award. Mm -hmm. But there is this, this like, je ne sais quoi. Mm. Say ability. that again, baby. Say that one more time. Je ne sais quoi. <laughs> this ability to connect with the camera, to get, like, inside the lens, that's the gift. You either have it or you don't. Mm -hmm. So let's see who our photographers picked for Hooters Miss Photogenic 2016. 
And the winner is... Hannah Williams from Irving, Texas. Ooh. Another top ten. I went to see the Cowboys once in Irving, Texas. Oh. Congratulations once again, the Hooters. Miss Photogenic 2016 winner is Hannah Williams from Irving, Texas. Yeah. And now it's time for our third special award from the evening. It's Miss Fan Favorite, who will take home a cash prize of $2,000. Hooters fans have been voting for weeks on this. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is for the Hooters girl who's gotten the most votes on social media. <sighs> I don't think they had this when I did it 10 years ago. This is new. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, they're excited. And the winner is... Haley Simmons from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Oh, where is she? Yes, lady, go to the center. Congratulations. So she's the most popular on social media. Yes, she is. And when you I did this, it was, it, 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 it was uh, MySpace. <laughs> it was. <laughs> Congratulations to Rachel Swartz, Hannah Williams, and Harley Sermons, the winners of our three special awards this year. And if you thought choosing those three awards from those field of beautiful ladies was tough, things are only going to get more challenging going forward. Time now to name our top five finalists of Hooters 20th Annual International Swimsuit Pageant. Ooh, that says top five, so it has to be the right envelope. A and reminder, this is the first time we're seeing this. Okay. And we are announcing them in no particular order, ladies. Here we go. Our top five finalists. I'm gonna stand behind you again and just pee so I know before y'all know you want me to read it, or are you going to read it? You go for it. Our first finalist, from Hollywood, California, Chelsea Morganson. Yeah! This is even tougher than I thought. I've been trying to predict, and I'm horribly wrong. OK. You ready? Are yes. You ready? Here we go. From New York City, Asatu Berry. Okay, we've got three places left, and one of them, by the way, you smell incredible. I do what I can. Is, is there like a Hooters perfume in an orange Cole. bottle? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, three places left, and one of them will go to, get them noons. Caitlin Apple from Kennesaw, Georgia! Oh, Caitlin in the mix! Yeah. Two more spots. Two left. And there will be only one when you announce that the first goes to. From Irving, Texas, Hannah Williams, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, Hannah. Hannah. Okay, our final top five finalists who have a chance to take home the title and a prize Woo. of $30,000, Michelle. Oh, gosh. From Fort Lauderdale, Florida, oh. Samuel J. Oh. Roberts! Oh. 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 Fort Lauderdale! She's happy. Congratulations. Congratulations to our top five finalists, as well as all of our top ten, and all of the ladies who made it to the stage tonight here in Las Vegas. We'll give the girls another break and let our top five get ready for the interview round while we talk with the judges to see what stood out for them when choosing these five ladies in advance. Give it up for them, come on. Give it up. The fabulous five. To be a Hooters girl is really 
Feminism Incarnate. And we do the Kelly Jo Dowd Fund and breast cancer research. We support the troops and especially women in the troops. I just finished a master's and now I can say that I'm a calendar girl too. So I mean, it's for me personally, it was like a cool, like well-roundedness being in the pageant and doing the calendar. Everybody's been super helpful, super constructive, helping me out giving me tips on how to walk, how to pose. To win Miss Hooters or to even make top 10 or get Miss Photogenic would just be unreal. I'm Hannah Williams and I'm from Irving, Texas. Welcome back. It's time for one of my favorite parts of the evening, the interview of our top five finalists. I agree, Arsenio. The interview round gives us a chance to get to know these girls a little better. I know that anyone who works at Hooters is pretty quick on their feet, but now we're gonna find out how well these ladies can do it when the stakes are high. Okay, each of our five finalists have drawn a judge's name from a fishbowl. Okay, it's not really a fishbowl. Actually, it's a, <laughs> it's a Hooters mug. What would you expect? And it's available with other fine Hooters gifts at any of their 400 Hooters locations <laughs> worldwide. That's for the man from Germany, worldwide. Yeah, <laughs> worldwide, homie. In any case, let's get started. Lynn, you get to lead us off. Okay, Miss Chelsea from Hollywood, California, Miss Hollywood. Hello, darling. Okay, what is your philosophy or value that you hold dearest in your life? Loyalty. Uh, above anything else, being loyal to your family, your friends, anybody around you, to me is so, so important. Um, that honesty that comes with it. Awesome, thank you. Ooh. Adam? Miss Ozzy, how are you? Hi, I'm good, how are you? Good. Who is the most influential person in your life and why? Hmm. I would say the most influential person in my life would be my mother. Oh um, through all the obstacles that she had in her life, she proved that never giving up gets you so much. And she raised me and my four younger sisters and look where I am now. Wow. Great answer. These ladies are doing very well. This is better than those Donald Trump pageants. These ladies are very smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bonnie Jill, are you ready? Yes. Number 37, Miss Caitlin. Hi, Caitlin. If you were to win Miss Hooters International, what would be your greatest contribution to your community? My community gives back all the time, but I think that if I were to win Miss Hooters International, it would give me a platform to voice um, my opinion and to help inspire other women, just as I've been inspired by Miss Hooters International 2015. Yeah. Thank you, Kate. Very nice. Who's next? Uh, probably uh, Rich. Yo. Arsenio, what's up, my man? Hey, homie. <laughs> yes, you're good at this. Listen, I got a question for Hannah Williams. Hannah Williams, if you had a magic wand, this is a deep question, if you had a magic wand, what is one thing you would wish for and why? I'm gonna assume that a million more wishes are off the table. That is off the table. <laughs> that is off the table. I like her. <laughs> off the table. Um. I think it would be more kindness in the world. I think we could all benefit from, you know, we don't necessarily need grand gestures, but I still believe in holding the door for people, uh, please and thank you, things like that. Uh, Philosopher Plato was the first to say, before of course it was manipulated on social media, that for every person you meet, they are facing their own inner battle, so be kind. And if I had a magic wand, I would just want more kindness in the world to touch people's lives. Wow. Good answer. Good answer. Good. 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 This is so hard. I mean, I, I mean come on. These, yes, you get goosebumps. These women are beautiful. These women are smart. Now I know why Rich, I, I know why your wife didn't want you to come here today. This is amazing, these ladies. 
Wow. Our final question is going to be asked by Steele. Okay, I got a question for Sable Robert, representing Fort Lauderdale like myself. Fort Lauderdale in the house! Fort Lauderdale in the house! I love it. Okay, so if you won the lottery for millions of dollars, where would you take me to dinner? Oh, wait, no. Uh, uh, wrong question. That's from another pageant uh, later, so. Yeah. Wrong it question. Says, That's a forest. For millions of dollars, what would you do with the money? Well, definitely working at Hooters over the last few years, I've really valued my time working with charities. I've worked with wonderful organizations such as Self Help Inter International and Make-A-Wish Foundation, um, anything from working at Joe DiMaggio's Children's Hospitals. And I really feel that above just serving chicken wings and being a part of this wonderful pageant that Hooters success really is being a part of their community and making the world a better place. And I think there's nothing better than giving back and making people happy. Wow. You ladies just slayed it. Yeah. yeah. And she's busy. She, she's busier than Obama. She do everything. <laughs> right on, baby. <laughs> All right, the five finalists have finished answering their questions. And there's only one question left, sir. Who will be crowned Miss Hooters International 2016? annual International Swimsuit Pageant is back and it's just about time to enjoy the moment for which you've all been waiting for the crowning of Miss Hooters International 2016. Yes, sir. But before we announce the winner, let's, I know, I know, we've got some business to take care of. We've got to talk with our 2015 Miss Hooters International, Megan Pastor Chick, who's standing by backstage with Sarah. Thanks, Michelle. Megan, as we approach the moments, the final moments of your reign as Miss Hooters International, I know you're feeling a wave of emotions. I saw you getting emotional back here as the girls were walking up there. But tell me, like, what are the like, most special moments you've experienced this past year? Over the past year, I've traveled all across the world, America. It's been the most amazing experience. And I have met some of the most wonderful women and men from around the world who have taught me how to be such a better person and I really have to thank Hooters for every relationship I came across. That is so beautifully said. I mean, thank you so much for being such an incredible representation of Hooters. And now we're gonna take a look back at your year as Miss Hooters International. My name is Megan Pastarczyk. I'm your 2015 Miss Hooters International. And I'm from Charleston, South Carolina. The night of me winning was really overwhelming. A lot of the girls asked, like, did you know or did you have a feeling? And I think we're all our biggest critic, like, going in. So when you're on stage, you always are like, and you're standing next to the most beautiful women of the world. And you start to, like, doubt yourself a little bit. And then when I started getting closer and closer, like, to, you know, top 10, top 5, and I was like, wow, this is real. Like, this could be it. And then when they call my name, it'll just like a dream come true. Yeah, um, since I've won, my life has definitely changed. I've got to travel the world. And by doing that, you become more of an aware person. You start to figure out who you are as a person, like where you see yourself in the long run. And I really get to credit Hooters for helping me figure it out. And um, the three coolest experiences I've had since um, winning Miss Hooters International would be, I'd say one was going to Thailand for their Bangkok opening. Two, being chosen for the 2016 Hooters calendar cover. And three is happening right now, being able to be a part of the 2016 Miss Hooters International pageant. When all the girls are competing, we're, we have you know three days where we all are shooting for the, the calendar. And to be selected for the 2016 Hooters calendar cover was a dream come true. Um, that's something I'll carry for a lifetime. And being able to travel throughout the year to all the signings and get to meet people who really love Hooters and it's like they look up to me and want my autograph and you know want to know more about me like that was really cool to be able to travel throughout the year and have that to do that. I obviously I haven't crowned a girl yet but I can't wait to have a conversation with her after she's crowned because I just really want to sit down and be like listen your life is forever going to change. It's not just a beauty pageant. It's not just a year-long thing. 
Like your life from this moment on is gonna change and I can't wait to have like that special moment with her. And everyone keeps telling me like, are you sad it's ending? And I'm like, yeah, I'm really sad it's ending. It's been the best year of my life, but I'm really excited for another girl to have the same experience and opportunities that I did. So it's a bittersweet sweet feeling for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Miss Hooters 2015, Megan Pesterchuk. There's Megan. Megan, tonight marks Hooters 20th Annual International Swimsuit Pageant. The competition has changed a bit over the years. And I think as the current Miss Hooters, you're the most qualified person to answer this question. In this day and age, what do you think it means to serve as Miss Hooters International? I think serving as Miss Hooters International gives you the ability to grow as a person and come across every new relationship and just figure out who you are and build yourself up with such an amazing brand and there's such amazing girls here that just take the memories and run with them. Thanks for sharing. Yes, Megan. Thank Megan. I like Megan's voice. Megan sounds like she could sing. Can you sing? Oh no, you don't want me to sing. <laughs> oh, she got something in there that sounds like Joplin might come out. Vegas. You know? Yeah. Las Vegas. Yeah, that Andra Day kind of sound. Please go ahead, young lady, and take your final Miss Hooters International walk. Enjoy it. Enjoy. Do it, Megan. Don't cry, baby. Okay. Congratulations again, Megan. All right, no more stalling. It's time to announce the finishing order of our pageant, culminating in the crowning of the new Miss Hooters International. Each of our finalists will win a cash prize dependent on where they finish, leading up to our winner, who will return to her hometown Hooters with $30,000, people. Wow. Mariana, will you please there she is. the envelope? Oh, Michelle and I do not know the results. You'll get them as soon as we do. Michelle, why don't you start us off? I would be happy to, Arsenio. Our fourth runner-up and the recipient of $5,000 is... Wow. From Kennesaw, Georgia, Caitlin Ethel, ladies and gentlemen. Third runner-up tonight will receive a cash prize of $6,500. Oh my. You want me to read that? Yeah. She's from Hollywood, California. Yeah. This is Chelsea Morganson. Yeah. Flower time. Okay, Michelle. The contestant who will go home with $8,000 mm. and is our second runner-up is? $8,000, I'm gonna throw in an extra hundred. $8,100 is? From New York City, a Satu Ferry. These flowers are pretty. Wow. Congratulations. And then there were two. I know these ladies have to be on edge because everyone else in the room is on edge. Let's get busy. Er. Let's do this. The winner of Hooters 20th Annual International Swimsuit Pageant. $30,000 in the title of Miss Hooters International 2016. 
I'm gonna ask Michelle to keep me honest, because I don't need a Steve Harvey moment. I know we ain't on TV, but I know y'all will tell it if I mess it up. So you point. Oh my. Ooh. Okay. Can I do it? You should do it. I remember when you won. <laughs> I didn't even know you and I was so happy. <laughs> From Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Sega. Jay. Roberts. Your first runner up and recipient of ten thousand dollars. From Irving, Texas is Hannah Williams. Congratulations. Sable, Jade, Robert, yeah, you have truly earned this, go ahead and take, wait, let me hold, oh, oh God, I can't ask her to do anything right now, I'll just wait, you tell me how long I need to wait, because you know this moment, you know how it feels, look at her, she's so touched, and I'm happy for her, okay, tell, her tell her our city, is this a good time, is that, is that clown on, oh my, all right, you gotta hold it on. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for her first walk? Single, Miss Hooters International 2016. You may take your walk, young lady. And of course, a shout out to our backstage correspondent, Sarah Hoots. She did a great job. My lovely co-host, Miss Nunes. That's Michelle Nunes. She knows what winning is about. Ah, thank you, Arsene. You made it easy. Oh, stop. We're going to do this again. Yes. I will do it again. This was a lot of fun for everyone here at Hooters 20th Annual International Swimsuit Pageant. All our judges, everyone who made this happen, God bless you all. Whatever you do. Never give up, because the next day might be your blessing. Ladies and gentlemen, good night to you and all these winners.